Well, I hope everybody enjoyed their ride in the car yesterday. The trunk is still apart. I just opened it up while it's parked here so the paint can cure good. Um, I got to go pay the water bill and we can either take the pickup or we can take the Pontiac. Let's take a vote on which vehicle we take. It's supposed to rain out today, but I don't think it's going to rain for a couple more hours. And I think we'll take the Pontiac. I think the Pontiac just won the vote. Before I go, after driving at about 100 miles yesterday, I do want to check the coolant and the oil, seeing that that's the first time I've really run it. And uh, just make sure all the fluids are up, because, you know, I had the radiator out. The, the radiator looks good, so we'll leave that alone. And uh, we'll check the oil level and have a look at that. And then we'll crank it up and run to City Hall and pay the H2O bill. Let's see if the, it's hard to hold the camera and everything here at the same time. The oil is exactly where it was when I changed it, so it didn't use a speck of oil. Good there. Might stick off and shut it back down in there. So yeah, everything's good. We'll take the Pontiac up to the city hall. No drips underneath the car. Everything looks good. There's a little, little bit of stuff, but that was from before. I should clean the garage floor up before I uh, bring it back in. I spilled some oil when I changed it and stuff. But yeah, it's runs and drives nice. Let's crank it up and go pay the water bill and when we get back we'll uh, start buffing the paint out. I got a couple other things I gotta do today, so hopefully I'll have time we'll get the the paint buffed out. So let's let's go. See how she starts up after sitting overnight again from a nice run yesterday. Get the right key here. Accelerator once to the floor. I would say it runs good. All right, let's go pay a water bill. That's what I call a good running car. All right, I gotta back out. I gotta set the camera down to see to get down behind side the house so I don't hit it. All right, I went to City Hall and paid the water bill. I pushed the wrong button on the camera so I didn't uh, get it recorded, but it went about maybe a quarter mile or so, and then the cold light finally went out. Um, but the car runs really nice. So uh, just driving around the neighborhood here really quick. And uh, then we'll go back home and put it away and start buffing the paint out. And I just felt like I cheated you out of a little bit of a ride in the car so we're gonna do one looks like it's just now starting to sprinkle a little bit out we're predicting rain all day today, a lot of it, and it's cloudy out and looks it, but I took the car to run my errands. I had a few, a few things to run and do, and I did them all. Well, the paint was good and hard in the trunk, so I put the trunk back together. And just kind of give you an all-around look at the inside of the trunk. It looks pretty darn good.
Really happy with the way the trunk compartment looks. So I'm going to start buffing on some paint here shortly. Well, I put the trunk light back in too, seeing that I'm not going to leave the trunk open. But you can see it turns off the mercury switch right there. So we'll call it good and start buffing the, the paint. Okay, I went around the car completely with the coarse compound and the buffer. I gotta clean the car up yet, and then I'm gonna start polishing it. Really, actually, it just gleams, even though there's rubbing compound haze all over the car. Surprisingly, that 57 year old original paint shined up better than what I expected it to. Another thing is, I went over some of those little rust spots that were in the surface rust spots with this clay bar stuff and surprisingly that cleaned most of the stuff off 90 percent of that staining came off the there's a little like scrape there and there's still some pits well not pits but rust stains on the trunk lid but for the most part it looks good and i think once that's waxed out that'll look less bad and uh, I might go around with my little touch up brush and touch up some little scratches but I may just leave them they're not down to the metal so all right I got it buffed with the coarse compound and cleaned up and ready for some fine stuff it shines pretty darn good but you can see some minor scratching and dull areas from the coarse compound but really looks good other than that so tomorrow I'll run to the store and get some compound and finish it up okay well this is tomorrow and I got the Pontiac all wheeled out I didn't sand out the top of the fender and buff it yet because I want the paint to dry a little longer and if it doesn't come out nice sanding and buffing it, I'll just respray it. But I think it'll be fine just sanding and buffing. And uh, the car really shined up. Now remember, that's a 57-year-old finish. You know, so it's not perfect. It has little nicks and scratches here and there. It still has that blemish. I couldn't get that out. Um, but... For the most part, the car turned out pretty darn good. Um, the old paint shines as good as the new paint. But again, it's 57-year-old paint, so it's not flawless by any means. It's not a thousand-point show car. It's a 57-year-old uh, survivor. And uh, it looks pretty darn nice. Try and get... It's raining out, otherwise I'd back it out and uh, get video outside. But you can see all the reflections in the trunk are nice. There's some surface rust spots on the trunk, as you can see. But for the most part, it cleaned up pretty darn nice. I mean, if you want it to be a thousand point show car you'd need to repaint the car bumper to bumper have the bumpers re-chromed repaint the engine compartment but that's not what i was looking for i was looking for a fun usable car and that's what this is it shined up super super nice really happy with the way the 57 year old paint came out what i did was i used a rotary buffer and i used that first and I change pads and you got to clean your pad as you go and I went to that and then I, with a different pad and then with and with the rotary buffer and then this with the orbital buffer I went over the whole car with that well the, the old paint not the new paint and then I went over the car with that as a final coat with the rotor or with the orbital wax or with new pads again so after every one, I used a new pad, and uh, we got a nice looking car. And you can see how the lights reflect in the paint on the hood. It's not got that dull 
look to it anymore. It's as shiny as can be. So we'll get the seat reupholstered. I, the material's being reproduced as we speak. Place in Oregon's doing it. And uh, once the upholstery is done, the car will pretty much all be done. I got to take this door panel off and put the lock rod back onto the lock cylinder. Um, that's still off from when I took the lock cylinder out to get the keys made for the car. There was no keys when I bought the car, as you might have seen in the earlier videos. So it's got 25,445 miles on it now, and that's the actual mileage. So pretty nice looking 1960 Catalina. And, uh, I'm going to leave the engine compartment right now, which all the way it is. So, that, there's the engine compartment. Put the trunk back together, and I think I had some video of that. I'll, uh, I'll open it up and get a quick video in case if I didn't. I don't remember what I took video of yesterday, so if you see duplicates of anything, sorry. Get the keys out of my pocket here. Keys to the Pontiac. Little round key is the trunk and the glove box, and that one's the ignition and the doors. So, those are the newspapers that were in the car in the trunk when I purchased the car. I still have everything that was in the car when I purchased it. And I still have all the original components to the car that I took off. I have the original brake shoes, the original wheel cylinders, all the stuff that was original that I had to replace. I didn't keep the steel hydraulic lines or the rubber hydraulic hoses, but I rebuilt the original master and still have that. I didn't rebuild any of the wheel cylinders. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much all set for cruising nice looking came out really nice so we'll get the hopefully get the seat uh, upholstered and we'll have a nice cruiser here looks good